Let's talk EV batteries again, only this time the 12 volt battery that tends to go unnoticed until you can't start the car. I'm Frugal Tesla Guy and I'm going to attempt to help you understand why Teslas even need a 12 volt battery, signs it's going bad, replacement options, and how to replace it in a mini series I like to call Understanding Your 12 Volt Battery. Now what's interesting, watch what, oh. Yeah, I can't put it in drive or reverse or anything like that. But when the 12 volt battery starts going bad, it, all hell breaks loose on the car. Well, I finally got that dreaded warning that my 12 volt battery needs to be replaced soon. However, that warning came after the fact that I couldn't put my car in drive or reverse and the screen never turned on. Now the 12 volt battery finally came back to life a few hours later and I could drive the car as usual, knowing I needed to replace the battery as soon as I could. Now inevitably, this is a scenario or some variation of it that every Tesla owner will experience within one and a half to three years, some sooner, some later. Personally, it was almost three years and just under 60,000 miles that this happened to me. Now since I'm fairly active within the Tesla community, this is something that has been in the back of my mind for quite some time now. And although it wasn't a pleasurable experience, it came as no surprise to me. And I was able to take the necessary steps to get the battery replaced ASAP. But for those of you that aren't as active in the Tesla community and just want to enjoy your car, I can see how this could easily catch you off guard and you might find yourself wondering what to do next. In this series, I plan on helping you through the process of not only how to have the 12 volt battery replaced, but your different options, along with helping you understand why Tesla even needs a 12 volt battery in the first place. I'm also going to share my experience from the moment I discovered my battery needed to be replaced, and in the end, give you step-by-step -step directions on how to replace the 12 volt battery yourself. It's actually easier than you would think. Now it should be noted that in my recent series, Your Battery According to Tesla, I gave you information that was backed by Tesla from their website and owner's manual. Unfortunately, there isn't much coming from Tesla about the 12 volt battery, but I will do my best to make sure the information I give you is accurate and reliable. In the meantime, be on the lookout for my first video in this mini series where we take a look at the reasons why an electric car has a 12 volt battery, even though it has access to a gigantic battery to power the electric motor or motors in some cases. The second video will be my experience from beginning to end and signs to look out for before you get the warning or get in your car only to find out it won't start. Now, the third video will be the different options available to you when the time comes to get your 12 volt battery replaced and the fourth, will be step-by-step -step directions on how to replace the battery yourself. Well, that's it for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and stay positively charged.